Let's balance the equation C5H11OH plus O2 gives us CO2 plus H2O. This is a combustion reaction. We have a hydrocarbon. This is actually an alcohol since we have the OH group on the end. Combines with oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water. So it's an organic combustion. To balance it, let's count the atoms up first. So the thing to be careful with combustion reactions when you're counting the atoms up, we have 11 hydrogens here got to count this one too. So 11 plus 1, that's 12. And then same for the oxygens. We have 1 here and 2 here. 1 plus 2 is 3. Then on the product sides, again, we have 2 oxygens here and 1 here. 2 plus 1, that equals 3. So make sure you counted those up correctly. Let's leave the oxygen to last. That's a good strategy. It's actually balanced anyway. So let's start with the carbons. We have 5 here and 1 here. Put a 5 in front of the CO2. 1 times the 5, that gives us five carbons. Those are balanced. We do need to update the oxygens though. Five times two, that's 10. And then we have the one here. So now we have 11. We might as well try to update the hydrogen, see what that does at this point. If we put a six here, this two times six, that'll give us 12. Those are balanced. We need to update the oxygens again. Five times two is 10 plus six times one, that's six. So we have 16. So we need to get 16 oxygens over here on this side. And that's a little bit of a challenge because we have the one here and then the two here. So I could multiply by eight. That would give me 16 like over here, but I still have this one oxygen out there. And that's what makes this a little bit difficult. So think about it this way. We have one plus some number that's going to equal 16. So one plus 15, that equals 16. It would be balanced. What we can do, so we can make this as 15 over two, because 15 over two times two, these will cancel out. That'll give us the 15 there. So we're going to leave the coefficient as 15 over two. And now this equation is balanced. We have one plus 15 over two times two, that's 15. That equals 16 and we're done. It's a little bit complicated. So if your teacher doesn't like these fractional coefficients, you can multiply all of the coefficients by two. You double them, that would get rid of that fractional coefficient there. Either way, this is the balanced equation for C5H11OH plus O2. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.